PNG plans to uh, submit uh, its BOR, uh, second BOR, and start 2022 to 2024, uh, planning and addressing the BTR uh, progress. So one of the impacts that we sort of we sort of notice from our add on our submissions, like the submission of the first national communications was 2002, and then the second national communication was 2016. Now we decided to address that issue by institutionalizing the process. The CCDA Climate Change Team Authority is responsible for preparing these reports. And through this process, we we're able to submit the first panel of the report 2019. And currently we just prepared our second panel of the report, which we will be submitting this year. So see it's actually improved the submission dates. Um, I think the main lesson learned is the political commitment from other countries. Commitment is very important to understand the reporting purposes and the commitment that PNG government or countries are putting forward uh, uh, in, under the UNFCCC. Like I mentioned earlier, previously it was more project based. And when the consultant left, they left with all those information data. So it was quite a huge challenge. It was also time consuming. Uh, we had to spend a lot of resources and effort to try to collect all those historical data again and also identify the data source. So I believe the archiving system is actually going to solve this problem, solve this issue. I think uh, the important thing for PNG is to build in capacity for experts. We want more national experts so, you know, in future we have uh, people that can work um, uh, on these systems and greenhouse gases, especially inventory. Um, you know, exposing experts for, to international meetings, especially the negotiations. It's very important that they understand their role.